So we've been talking about Battletech Hobby, this idea, while I focus on tactics and I share with you some Lance building ideas and, and different roles for some of the mechs that I enjoy, the aspect of Battletech in terms of creating a narrative, stepping out of space and time for that moment to exist, to live, to make decisions in the Battletech universe. And we talked about some ideas for your gaming table, painting mechs, battle damage and effects and music, really trying to build that awesome game while, of course, winning at the same time. And I wanted to focus a little bit more on hobby because certainly while the, the, the aspect and the focus of my channel is not about building and painting, there are many, many amazing YouTube channels that are out there and Facebook groups. I'm, I'm an average painter, maybe on a good day, a little bit above tabletop on there. But it is an important part of the hobby, and I can understand how intimidating it can be for new players to kind of jump in and paint. That said, besides giving you some encouragement to do that, to paint your mechs, the two pieces of advice that I would give, and the first piece is going to be kind of a side note, second piece is going to be about basing and how important basing is in terms of building that narrative, the first thing would be to obtain one or two or three used mechs, older mechs, spare mechs, maybe in a trade, the base could be a little bit messed up, the paint job could be off, some, something secondhand. And, and I do this with Chain of Command, I do this with Warhammer 40,000. A couple of test models, maybe you have to strip them, but test models that you can experiment on or try things out on or, or just see um, how things look and having a couple of test models will, will really open up decision making and, and make you feel much more confident. Uh, a great example would be my very first Battletech Lance. My oldest Battletech army are my dogs of war, mercenaries, and I painted them dark angels green. One of the things that I didn't check out ahead of time, and, and it's not a mistake, I, I still think the mechs look great, but it was a slight miscalculation. The difference of Dark Angels Green or a type of green on Space Marines, on vehicles, and on larger scale models looks a little bit darker on smaller scale models. Taking into account the, the scale of Battletech miniatures and how that relates visually on the table, I almost want to say, even if you're going for kind of a traditional desert camo or, or really kind of... Um, desert, not parade colors, desert camo type mechs or camouflage type mechs, paint them a little bit lighter than it seems because it's going to make them pop on the table. The Z scale, the smaller scale miniatures, that's important. So it's important to take in the size of the miniature. That said, from not only a Battletech perspective, but any wargaming miniature perspective, basing your miniatures is the quickest and easiest thing that you can do to give your miniatures more bite, more tabletop presence, and to help frame and pop um, the, the, the paint job that you've given them. How to base them? The easiest way, of course, um, maybe some sand, some rocks, pebbles, keeping in mind the scale of the rocks that would make sense for that kind of Z-scale, rough Z-scale battle tech that's out there. And uh, I like to just mix that with a little bit of glue, um, apply it to the mech once I've glued it to the hex base on there, and then I like to prime the entire unit on there. The entire miniature, the basing of it, it kind of locks in with the primer and paint it from there. From there, it could be two simple colors, right? You could do kind of a brown, a dry brush of some gray, a dry brush of some white. You can add some static grass. You could add in some rubble. There's a lot of little pieces that you can do quickly to make this pop, to frame it almost like a diorama. And wherever you are in your paint ability, it's going to really take it to that next level. So I want to encourage you, again, this could be any type of miniature wargaming system, but especially with Battletech, look at some of the tutorials on basing your miniatures and basing your mechs.